my name's Rihanna Cracknell and I'm 13 years old. Before I start the bulk of my talk, I would like to mention that this is dedicated to my friend Ben Foster. Ben was a friend of my parents who have known him since he was 16 years old at Youth for Christ. Since that meeting, Ben grew up, married a truly lovely lady and had an adorable son with the curliest red hair and most cheerful laugh I have ever heard in a toddler. Then, in May, he committed suicide. This came as a shock to everyone and was incredibly difficult for his family, friends and my mother who had to lead his funeral. I'm going to try to keep this casual and not too scientific because I'm sure that most of you are fairly aware of them. I'm discussing mental illnesses, by which I mean depression, anxiety, OCD, bipolar eating disorders, etc. I know that these are the most representation of mental health awareness, however, they are the ones that I am most familiar with and know most about. There are others which need much more representation, however, I don't know enough about them, so I don't feel I'm qualified to do that. I guess the easiest way of describing them are disorders that affect your emotional and mental state, which inevitably affects your actions. That doesn't really cover it, that's the NHS definition. They're self-hate, fear of answering the phone, being skin and bones and still not eating, emptiness, self-harming, paranoia, wanting to die. Okay, now that's established, that's monstrous. What's the big deal? Because they don't really matter. But one in four people in the UK will at some point in their lives be affected by some sort of mental illness. I have four cousins. The eldest loves yellow, wears school uniform on weekends, because she's American and that's what they do, um, and refuses to be a princess in games because she knows that she is the queen. And the younger girl, who loves cheetahs and black and dogs and tea. And the two younger boys, American football lovers, film lovers, especially Captain America, and loathers of mushrooms, which I don't understand because I love them. But statistically speaking, one of them will be affected by a mental illness. One of my beautiful cousins will hate themselves until they are unable to see how much I love them. Will one of them forget that I will be there in the 20 hours it takes to get to where they live as soon as they need me? But different statistics apply to them at less than 10 than do to me, a high schooler. I mean, 510,000 young people in the UK, aged 11 to 16, suffer from a diagnosable mental disorder. Ooh. Within my friendship group of about 10, 13 year olds, I can name two people in therapy for self-harming, five people medically diagnosed with depression, six people diagnosed with anxiety, someone suffering from anorexia, and someone suffering from a minor case of bipolar. And of course, Ben, who was less than 25. There's no way that mental illness could affect young people. I think that my biggest problem with mental illnesses, other than the fact that they exist, is the outlook that society has on it, specifically to teenagers, because mental health is seen as less important than physical health because you can't see it, positive or negative. Because that's like saying Charlie Chaplin films weren't funny because they're silent. And it means it's harder to gain treatment for illnesses of the mind, so it becomes much more stigmatised and remote than it should be. And because of that, Ben died. And I have a big problem with that. I have a problem that because your teenage years are the best of your life, so you must be having a great time. And you don't know how lucky you are. And it's just teenager angst. And it was so much harder in my day. Youth these days are so weak. Because of this best years of our life attitude, real genuine problems are ignored and dismissed. My final words are those of Plato. Be kind, because everyone you meet is finding a hard battle. Be kind, because we all have bad days and we all need other support sometimes. The mental health department in the NHS really does need much more funding. But as individuals, my point is, be kind to others and offer support because you don't know what their hard battle is. Be kind to yourself because you deserve love to get through your hard battle as well. Thank you.